Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Today, we are going to look at an application that focuses on keeping your Mac as secure as possible. Now, Little Snitch has been around for a long time and is now at version six. Its purpose is to monitor all connections in and out of your Mac and keep you alerted to them so you can allow or deny them as appropriate. Now, full disclosure, I've actually avoided using Little Snitch in the past because I found it to be a little bit too aggressive with the alerting to the point where I was just allowing everything through and it kind of negated the point of it. It's now a very different application though. And whilst I've not been using it for too long, it's definitely one that I'm now gonna be keeping in my toolkit. Now, it would be very easy to spend hours on this because my IT background is traditionally in networking. So I've been working with firewalls for years and I have really enjoyed diving into Little Snitch again However, I will do all I can to not dive into any technical rabbit holes and ensure that I just cover the basics of using Little Snitch. Now let's take a look at where to get it from first. So this is the objective development product site for Little Snitch. And as I scroll here, we can see Little Snitch has been around for more than 20 years. So you don't have that level of longevity without being good at what you do. Then you can scroll down here to get a little bit of a light overview as to what Little Snitch does. But that said, the bits that you really need to know are gonna be covered in the next 30 or so minutes. I will just show you some of the other products though by Objective Development. So there is a lighter version of Little Snitch called Little Snitch Mini, and we're gonna cover that in an upcoming tip video. And there's also an application called Micro Snitch, which runs from the menu bar, and this monitors and reports microphone and camera activity. We have an internet access policy viewer, and this allows you to see applications that have a policy equipped, that outlines why they need to connect and where they connect to. And then finally, many of you will be familiar with LaunchBar, the alternative to Spotlight that allows you to launch applications and open documents quickly, as well as much more. Now it's been around a long time and I know that many of you still use it. So it's definitely got some solid pedigree here. Let's take a look at how much it costs. So we can see here a single license, that will be 59 euros. Then a family license is 115 euros. A multi-license, which will cover five machines, will set you back 239. And then for 10 machines, it is 419 euros. But you can also upgrade from an earlier license of Little Snitch if you have one. Just enter your old license key and you're gonna get a price for the upgrade. And that's gonna be cheaper than the standard pricing, of course. So downloading is easy, just click download and then follow these prompts here to allow the download to come. You will then install it in the normal way. Now I have already installed this. We can see that up here in the menu bar because this is little snitch here. And this is where I'll go to very quickly do things like change my profile or switch to kind of monitoring mode that is being used. And ordinarily when I prep for these videos, I will uninstall the application and then start again from the beginning. However, I'm not actually gonna do that on this occasion because I've been running Little Snitch on my live day-to-day -day user account here. And I'm actually gonna switch across to that one for once because it's gonna be easier to show you how the application works if I've started configuring it and I have some data to refer to. So I'm gonna pause and switch accounts now. That's just a quick preview of one of the